Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you the walkthrough of lab number 3 which is also an account takeover lab. So if you haven't checked out the other two labs then I recommend you to check that out and try to hack the admin's account over there. So let's get started. So I'm going to click on lab number 3 and let's see the contents over, over here and as you can see we have a web application we have three functionalities login functionality and a sign up functionality and then a, a forgot password functionality right so let's try to create an account on this particular application so i'm going to click on sign up and i'm going to provide my email address so fayazahmad.online.gmail.com and let's let's add any random password let's say spiderman and spiderman and also i'm going to turn on my burp suit and now click on sign up so as you can see the account has been created and let's start the burp suit as well let me turn on the turn off the intercept and i'm going to switch to my hacker mode and now i'm going to log into my account let's wait for a few seconds and now I'm going to provide my email address and I'm going to provide my password and let's try to intercept the request and as you can see we have a post request on this particular endpoint we have two parameters email and password so nothing uh, suspicious over here so I'm just going to intercept the response I'm going to forward this okay and as you can see we have successfully logged in into the account now let's head back to the login and now let's try to test for the forgot password functionality here they are asking for pro the email address which you have used while sign up, signing up in this web application so i'm going to provide that for yazamad.online at the gmail.com i'm going to turn on the intercept uh, click on send and as you can see we have a json request over here right so this body is in json format now i'm going to intercept this response let's wait for a few seconds and we've got some response over here and as you can see it is showing that otp sent successfully now click on ok and now they are asking for OTP verification. So we have another functionality over here, which is an OTP verification functionality. Now I'm going to my email. And as you can see, we got an email over here. Let's copy this OTP. And let's try to paste it over here. Click on verify. And as you can see, we again get logged in into the account. Okay. So now we have understood the forgot password functionality step number one we have to provide the email address step number two we have to verify the otp step number three if the otp is correct we'll get logged in cool now let's try to test for vulnerabilities in the pa password reset functionality what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here and i'm going to specify my email address like i've did in the previous example and now before clicking I am going to intercept the request and now what I am going to do is I am going to change this email from fayazahmedonline at gmail.com to admin at the rate bpractical.tech I am going to do that here and before sending this I am also going to put this value inside an array or an object and I'm going to pass another value over here which is my email address fayazahmed.online at the rate gmail.com and now let's forward this request as you can see we got the response over here I'm going to forward this and it is showing that OTB sent successfully click on OK and we again got the OTP verification page now let's go to our uh, 
email at uh, gmail and now as you can see we got another OTP over here well, let me close this this is the new OTP that we got and now let me copy this and let me paste it over here click on verify and as you can see we successfully got into the admins account which means that we were able to hack into the admins account without proper authorization so this vulnerability is also very common in real world websites we can find this vulnerability whenever the password reset functionality is taking an input in the json request it is possible that you might uh, get this type of vulnerability by doing the same steps that we did in this lab so i hope you understand how we can we have to solve the lab number three thanks for watching